Who's your big mamas? Who's your big mamas? Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. You're the best puppy ever. All right, so I just got a call from my dude, Angelo. Um, he's going to go pick up a motor for his 240. Um, so he's going to pick up an engine, essentially. For his 240 that he's building up, it's going to be a drift car and stuff. And I'm going to get to film the whole thing, and I'm pretty excited. Uh, I just got to wait for my dude, little man, to get some food. He's getting off a of baseball practice, and then we're going to roll out, supposedly, to North Hollywood to go pick this up. So hopefully this goes well. I'm, I'm excited to film all this. Hopefully all my batteries are charged, because this is going to be... You guys are in for a good one. Uh, those of you that might not know, um, 240s are really good platforms um, platforms for drifting and stuff like that. They're really uh, cheap and accessible. There's a lot of engines that can go into them. They're very compatible uh, with parts. And there's a lot of really good aftermarket support for that platform, the Nissan 240SX. Um, so that's like really why they're pretty common, in case you guys didn't know. Some of you guys might know and think I'm retarded for repeating that, but. Some people just don't know, so that's for just the general public, so they know. Alright, so we're on our way to Soakin... What's it? Soakin Trade? Soakin Trade. Soakin Trade to pick up a motor for this fool. Yup, let's get it started. We're gonna pick up, pick up a three-cylinder. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, not a three-cylinder. Not a three? Double that? Huh? Double that? Uh, almost triple. <laughs> Minus one. We'll just miss the freeway. So angry. In half a mile. So angry. Exit to exit 44. But you'll be happy when you get the motor. You'll be stoked when you get the motor. In 900 feet, turn just, left on just, South Florida Avenue. It's a fail. You don't drive with the flag yeah, on the freeway? Yeah, look at those directions. That's what happens if you don't pay attention. Are you going to take this car to Adams or no? Alright, so we just got to the motor shop. He's about to pick up his LS7. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but it does have a good amount of cylinders, so let's check it out. Would you be the first Honda owner to, I mean, first Nissan owner to put a Honda motor in it? No, hey, what, what if, what if, hey, what if you put a Honda motor in the 240? It'll redline at like 15,000 RPM. I don't care, I don't want that. <laughs> redline a 25. Small, huh? Is that the block or what? No. That's it's got, the motor? That's the head. It's got the head on there. This is a, I think it's a... As gross as it is looking at all these motors and it's like, you know, it's a shop. It's like so cool. I feel like a fat kid in a candy store right now looking at all these engines. All these engines are actually imported from Japan uh, with low mileage too. So that's pretty cool. What's your thought? What's your thoughts on the motor? You think, An you think Angelo's gonna kill himself with a V8? Hey, they said before they'll sell you a V8, you gotta take classes. They said you're not safe enough. I'm not safe enough. Why not? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you want Honda reliability, Angelo? Oh, get Honda out of here. Shout out to Honda Motor Co. Sponsor your boy at Get Buck and Sponsor me, then I'll he said, he said he'll run your motor. This needs to go in your car. <laughs> he just shakes his head. Hey, you know how many people on YouTube are gonna diss you because of this? It's fine, dude. I'm hey, they're gonna find you. You'd be surprised at how many people watch these things. <laughs> so we're gonna check the compression of the motor. See if this guy tries to hide the numbers. Numbers don't lie. So 
So my friend Angelo's motor compressed good. Um, it compressed at 200, around 200 a cylinder. Um, I think like 190, 200. I don't know the exact numbers, but our friend Mark, who recommended us here, said that it should be around 180. So 200 is like a really good place to be. So he's like super stoked. And shout out to these guys for not really giving me that big of a hassle for filming in here. I'm surprised. Are you stoked or what? Yeah. How do you feel? I'm feeling like my dream is coming true. Your dream? Are you going to take out at Lewis Cordova 7? Uh, maybe. Do you use for a Lexus DS300 or DS400? 240. Good point. Oh, for a 240? Yeah. Nissan. Yeah. So guys, driving Angelo's motor. Me and Brandon both had a fucked up thought. We're thinking, what if he dropped it? I thought it, but he said it. So if he drops it, <laughs> it's on you, Brandon. <laughs> hey, so you need to get a license, dude. Where, you want that? What? Go, right there, yeah, hey, 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 whatever. That's fine, right there. Um. Go ahead. Yeah, four can. You think that's it? So you can't get buck on the freeway like you were earlier. Yeah. Right, sir. You're not putting that in. <laughs> but I just left the motor home. shop. Shout out to Soakin Motors for the Pick hospitality and letting me film inside. This guy was being a rice trailer. Thanks. <laughs> I'm hyped. What's going in the video? Alright then, I'll hit you. I'll right, we'll hit you guys up after. Perfect timing. Long as I'm drink it, never drop the ball. Y'all think it. In case you guys are wondering, um, my batteries died on the way home, so I didn't really get, well, on the way back from picking up that motor. So, um,. I didn't really get to uh, get that much, you know, rolling shots or just any real footy in general. I'm right back where I start usually most of my videos. I start here. I'm ending here. Um, try to make sure I get okay audio. I'm really thankful that I got to discover like vlogging and open up my own channel and I'm doing this and I'm getting so much positive support from you guys. Um, you guys are all really awesome and. I just feel real cool like being able to make these videos and share a part of my life with you guys and entertain you guys as well. Um, you know, it's just, it's really cool to be able to film these things and have you guys come along in a sense. I just want you guys to know that, you know, like everybody has bumps in the road and everybody has goals and stuff and, you know, it takes time and nothing great happens overnight. It, it really takes consistency and uh, you really got to dedicate yourself and be committed to wanting to better your life, whatever it may be, you know, whether it be school or work or your family, your friends, building a race car, things like that. Uh, but, you know, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming along and watching this video with me. I really have a lot of fun and I think this one's going to be good. I haven't edited it yet, but I think this is going to be a good video. And I'm, I'm happy to wrap it up by, you know, being back home and thanking all of you guys and you know hope that you guys get something good out of it and, and feel good about something I think this one will be pretty funny and pretty cool and you know expect more car content also just regular vlog content you know I want I want to be able to say stuff that you guys can relate to we all have negative stuff that we deal with on a daily basis no one's life is perfect and uh, you know just keep pushing through it and stay positive and just keep working hard you know don't don't let anyone bring you down but yourself you only hold back yourself no one else just you so just keep that in mind guys and thank you guys for watching and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'll catch you guys later